Okay, so we've got another awesome image sent in to us and we're going for a really nice vintage look. So if you want to give her a follow, check the description and we've got a lot of lifestyle shots and a lot of fashion. So coming down, one thing that really stands out to me is the texture of the photos. So one thing she's doing is she's using an overlay to really add the final texture and that will really top off your vintage look so we're going to try to achieve a vintage look and really add that texture overlay so hang around if you want to learn how to do that quite a few other instagrammers use it as well and coming down looking at a few more yeah i really like this make sure you go give her a follow and we're going to get into lightroom right now here's her image from her instagram got those desaturated colors quite warm and then you got that really nice texture as well so first thing I'm gonna do is bring up the warmth and I'm gonna add just a slight greenish tint to it exposure a tad bringing down the contrast uh, highlights I'm gonna bring up Same with the shadows. Uh, bring blacks down. And got to bring those whites down. So with these tools, you really is trying to get that contrast right. Looking at the shadows, seeing how many shadows there are, how many blacks, and clarity. I'm going to leave and bring up vibrance a tad. And then I've got to bring that saturation down quite a bit. And tone curve. So, quite a bit of a fade. So, that's what we're going to be really trying to achieve with this. Okay, so that's the curves done. Had to do some RGB as well. So really taking out some of those colors in the shadows and bringing them up a tad in the midtones slash highlights. So moving on, what I'm gonna do now is come all the way down to calibration. So as you can see, it's kind of green. It's got a green tint. So, a little bit in the shadows. We are going to shift all these colors. This direction. And then saturate them a little. And shift these greens. So, all these colors. these blues it's really it's affecting all the colors but how you affect them. right so coming up so we've got a really nice warm look and I'm gonna do it by split toning so a lot of gold and orange I'm going to use quite a bit and then I'm going to do the same thing in the shadows but I'm going to add a bit more and 
and then what you can do especially when you got the same colors just play around the balance and what that does it just uh, determines how much of each you are using might leave it there and now I'm gonna work on HS cell so So it's just really affecting that sign up top and maybe your lips. Oranges. Now it's just a matter of matching it up with the other one. So what color do we think her shirt is? About there, it's quite a light yellow. And saturation so bring most things down but I might just pop up that red a bit as I noticed in other photos as well she had quite a bit of the reds really popping and bring these yellows down a long way about there greens not too many greens but as you could see, if you go back and look at her Instagram, the greens are very, very desaturated. And just looking at these blues, I'm looking at that sign up top. But our jeans are looking way different, even though up here is looking similar. So. I know there's been some brushing. Now luminance might I think her shirt might be a little deeper. Uh greens no real greens in this. Blues, I'm gonna lift up. Okay, so sharpening, I'm gonna bring up to about there. And now we want a lot of grain. So I'm gonna bring it up all the way to about there. And we want it nice and big. And we want it pretty rough. Out there so that really helps with the texture and now as you can see her dream even though the blues up here are matching up pretty well our blues and the jeans aren't so that means we are going to brush once you have your brush just start brushing pretty much everywhere then I'm looking to do things such as bring up exposure uh, bringing saturation down and then I want that nice rustic look so a lot of warmth Put a lot of greens in there. 
and maybe some clarity. Bring them out a little. And bring up shadows a little. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that there. So here's our before and after. And this is how she edits because she helped me with this one a bit. So you might notice a little bit of a difference, but the difference will be because now she took it on her phone and used an app to do the final overlay that changes a little bit of what it looks like. So we're not gonna use that app, we're gonna use Photoshop but that's why there might be a tiny bit of a difference you might notice. So let's get into Photoshop. So come all the way up here to help and type in Photoshop, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so in Photoshop and what I've already done is drag and drop this overlay I'm gonna use. So here it is here, if I turn it off and on. On, off. So this overlay, I find the specs to be too small and too many of them. So what I'm going to do is going to drag it really big like that. And then that's going to make all the specs on my image larger and fewer of them. And I'm kind of happy with that. So something else you would probably want to do is bring down the opacity down to about 50 and maybe the eraser tool maybe just keep it off her face a tad and I think that's done guys so here's without it and with it and I got these overlays from a website I can't quite remember I'll put it in the description they were completely free and they come in about a pack of six or so so yeah just check the description if you guys want to download those overlays and yeah i'm gonna leave it there guys hopefully you, you sort of know how to create a vintage look now and make sure you go give her a follow all the links will be in the description same with mine check everything out and yeah thanks for watching